well then I'm going to kick off with a bit of clean water and then do the light colours start with a bit of raw sienna a bit of lemon yellow a bit of crimson in there and just variations on those Clean the brush and a bit of ultramarine. I'm going to clean it, pop a bit of that up there. Get up here as well. And a bit of light red, glittering, nice purpley colour. The ultramarine to darken it a little bit back into the red. A bit of Payne's grey in there as well, really darken it. brush just actually you know let's take a bit of just a clean brush and just soften the bottom up a little bit Got a quick dry. That's sort of fix that in place now, or as good as it can fix it in place. And then what I'm going to do is re-wet it and put a few more washes over the top to try and create some depth. So if I re-wet it with this, and then go back to these nice light colours.
Right. Let me just paint it. And then it's the idea of just wetting it just loosens everything off and just blends the colours and just trying to create those little subtle effects. Want a little bit, of, a little bit of those light colours down below, I think. Right then, let's just get that flat against the board. And I might just try and be put a little bit of rocks and things in. Not keen on that. Let's uh, let's change that a little bit. Now then, can I put some subtle rocks in? Just looking for a. A little bit of card here, and then just So just a little bit of scraping there, just a simple way of creating rocks and a little few cliffs and things. So if I give that a quick dry. some acrylic actually I might just remove the pines. Let's see how, how easily I can remove these pines. I'm just wetting it the shape of a little sail in the distance and then just press it with a bit of tissue and we get little little yachts appear in the distance. There's 
one. Let's put another one. Just a little one behind it. Try and start off small so that if you mess it up and get bigger, try and cover up your mistake. Yeah, look, that's worked out quite nice. We've got three little yachts there. So let's stick a mount on that now and see what it looks like. So there's our painting and its mounts. So we're going to have a closer look. So I've started off as I generally do with the sky. And we got just a bit of raw sienna and then predominantly sort of ultramarine, just a wheat wash of ultramarine and then plenty of reds then in the clouds. And we've got lizarding, light red bit of Payne's Grey, a bit of Ultramarine, There's a little bit of yellow in there as well. Sort of dried it, re-wet it and then just, so it just helps create this sort of depth and a bit more textures and things. And then once, once all the clouds were in, just use the same colours just to suggest the land masses in the distance along the horizon line. You can see where the re wet and it gives you nice soft edges, pushes them far, far back. I mean, just used a plastic card then just to create these rocks and cliffs, sort of big cliffs in the background, and then they get little rocks and things as they come forward right through to the foreground. Also, I tried to create a bit of light there reflecting off the, the shore there coming from the sky more rocks in the sea there and then just used a damp a damp rigger brush and then just took the paint off with a tissue just to create those three little yachts there in the distance sailing away that lovely view and then finally just go a little uh, seagulls up in the sky just to make see them so I hope you enjoy that. Thanks as always for watching. Um, I hope you can join me over on my Patreon page. That's patreon.com slash Stephen Crone. You'll see the link down in the description. Um, there's loads and loads more videos over there. Plus there's the community gallery where everyone can post their own painting. So I hope you get the chance to join me. Until then, keep practicing. If any questions, please ask. And I'll see you again soon.